channel. Today we've got a 2007 Accord with the complaint of an oil leak. The customer had just replaced the oil himself. Then a few days later, the son who was driving it noticed the oil uh, was leaking, checked the dipstick, was not showing on the dipstick, uh, added some oil, that repeated a couple times. Then they went to a chain store to get their opinion. That chain store told them the oil pan gasket was leaking. He called me for a second opinion and when he told me how much oil they've been adding, I assumed that it was a pressurized oil leak and not an oil pan gasket. So they brought the car in. I got it up here on the lift and let us go under and see what is going on. So looking, looking through the wheel well, you can see a whole bunch of oil all over the place. Here's the floor. It's been sitting up in the air for about half an hour. Not running. It's all wet under there. Drain plug looks fine. Timing area looks fine. But what I first noticed when I got under here was that drip right there in the middle hanging off the oil filter. I guess the customer had tried to tighten it because you can see some some marks there on the filter from a band wrench. And what I'm going to do is wipe off that oil and come back and start up the car and you'll pretty quickly see where it's coming out of. Engine running, I can see dripping straight out of where that band clamp band set of pliers was on the filter. Right there. So, I guess, I guess the customer tried to tighten it themselves after something. But someone tried to tighten it. And, uh, Ended up punching a hole in the canister. So we are going to get another filter on here. My gosh, it's so tight. Yeah, it doesn't need to be that tight. Just so you know. Oh man, yeah. I'm gonna have to get some, something bigger to pull this off with. And these are the pliers I had to use to get that off. They're about double the length of my normal pliers. And to crush it pretty good. And then we got ourselves another filter in there. Let's put it up there. But what I like to do is just take whatever rag I'm using because the filter housing gets kind of slippery. I do my final kind of hand tight with this. Should be good. Now we got a big mess that I'm gonna spray off as well. But that should be the whole whole fix for this car. Spray clean it sprayed on about everything. I was going to clean up some so they don't see some residual. I think you didn't do anything, but up in the subframe there's holes and 
and some's gonna come out, but this is the best we can do. Let the car down. Check up top. See if there's any more cleaning we can do. That's my little tiny scissor lift. Not the best one for this job, but it works. There we go. low point so I'll go ahead and add some of their oil back they had a bunch in the rear seat It's about a half a quart. A little more. I didn't wipe it between just because it's going up the stick. It's good now. So, I'll clean up a little more and we'll be done. Thanks for watching.